said, let's go. Gotta get that workout in. Happy Monday, y'all. Have a great day. It's date night, and where are we going, Samantha? Bar Taco. Bar Taco is our place. Tacos. It's like the only reason I want to have a date night is so I get fed. <laughs> She's not lying. The Bar Taco, here we go. Tuesday morning, gotta get my training session in with my trainer. Got my workout done at True Mav. I can't stress this enough. You need to take care of your health before you can take care of your wealth. Health equals wealth. And for me, exercising daily. I have a trainer. I train with once a week. I do my own workouts. I run. I got IV therapy drips, a drip bar. I have a longevity doctor, Dr. David Yerkes. Helps me with all areas of my life. Optimal performance, sleep, you name it. It allows me to feel better, to perform better, and build more wealth. So take care of your health before you can take care of your wealth. Early morning workout done. I gotta get ready, packs, pack. Then I'm playing to Florida. back-to-back -back calls all day. I need to take a five-minute break to go walk to get a Celsius. We got the one and only Vinny Potestivo. Say hi, Vinny. What's up, y'all? By the way, he's a badass. Follow this guy. Full day of meetings here here in St. Petersburg, Florida. Good day, it was a good day. Tomorrow I've got meetings, gonna brainstorm a mastermind, think about everything I'm working on, just be by myself here in the office, and then uh, probably meet up some people, meet up some friends, business associates, and then Friday, head back to Nashville. So it's a, it's a good week, time flies sometimes when you're so focused. You know, I've been getting a lot of press lately. I just got featured in a magazine, I got another potential uh, cover of a magazine coming up. Got an interview with Des Moines Register and Ames Tribune uh, tomorrow. And got some other press. I'll be on two morning shows next week. So just prepping for that. You know, one thing to share is always invest in video content, invest in B-roll, invest in professional photos, all things that could be used for stories because the media looks for it. It's great for getting more, more eyeballs, more people to click, but especially for covers of magazines or newspapers. So one tip for the night. Okay, sometimes you have to make pivots. I had to move my workshop to later in April because I had some people move some things around and I had some other things that came up. So I had a boardroom that I still had to use because I paid for it already. So this is my office today, boardroom, just me. I'm actually looking forward to it because I got time to myself to think about everything I'm working on and just have a different atmosphere. So let's get some shit done today. You see this black book right here? This black book has been with me for 10 years. 10 years of knowledge of stories and different strategies that I have implemented over the past decade around building my personal brand and monetizing my brand. Literally millions upon millions of dollars generated through the thoughts that I put down in this book. And I'm gonna be sharing this with you in a workshop. This workshop is all around how to build your personal brand, how to monetize your brand in different ways you never even thought of. We go over social media, posting video content, 
posting stories, maybe even YouTube videos. And then also I talk about podcasting, speaking, hosting your own event, speaking at different events and monetizing it and many other strategies. All this in the workshop. And then also I talk about how to monetize your brand. There are over one dozen different ways to make money with your brand that I've implemented myself. I've helped countless others do it for themselves as well, from coaching to consulting, to consulting for equity, to masterminds, to courses, to training, to all of it. This is what I'm gonna be going over in the workshop. So if you direct message me the word workshop, I will share more details. I will be sharing all this in a full day presentation with you. So get your tickets. Again, DM me the word workshop. I look forward to seeing you soon. All right, so VTA, you know, one thing you're always talking about looking for opportunities, seeking yeah. out opportunities. Now, one thing I haven't heard you really talk about is all these opportunities coming at you. How do you know when to say no? Good question. I look at the person. So the person that I'm gonna do business with or put money with, do I like them? Could I consider having them over for dinner? Would I wanna hang out with them? Or somebody that maybe I wouldn't wanna hang out with? Do they vibe with me? And also, are they thinking bigger? So that's one thing. Also, is it something that I understand and I like? Because if somebody comes with an opportunity that is not in my field, not in my industry, or it's something that I don't have a lot of background in, I don't wanna take it on because I don't feel like I can bring enough value to the opportunity. But if it's a hell yes, let's say it's a product, or let's say it's somebody that's gonna do something maybe in a, the film or TV world, or maybe it's gonna be something with the event, or something that I can really resonate and vibe with, then I'm gonna take it on. So it's gotta be either a hell yes, or a no, that's my answer. We got a little bit of a walk to our next meeting, but scooter time, eh? Let's go. Oh, baby. Last time I was in St. Pete, I randomly went to go get a piece of pizza, which was in one of my past vlogs. And I said I wanted two pieces. And the owner, I knew he was the owner, I could tell. He said, you know, for a few bucks more, you get a full pizza. And he converted me to a whole pizza. So I'm here again. I got a whole pizza. And it's him and his brother, two brothers own this business. I love this because it's sales. They understand sales and they're probably selling hundreds of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of pizzas a year. I guarantee this business does over a million dollars a year selling pizza. So probably great margins, but the pizza is so good. So I'm gonna eat myself some pizza. No, the health isn't so good, but I gotta splurge a little bit. I just will have to work out a little extra tomorrow morning and maybe run a little extra. The verdict of the pizza. So good. While I'm eating my pizza, I'm watching Shark Tank. I will be a shark on Shark Tank within 27 months. By the way, I feel like I'm the real life Shark Tank. Every day I'm pitched a product. I was pitched today at a cigar bar. Pitched every single day, get front row seat of the best opportunities, investments, opportunities. But I still love watching Shark Tank because I visualize myself on that show, which is going to become a reality, which is gonna be awesome. Like I said, it's good pizza. Oops. <laughs> I had to stop to my girl in Clearwater to get my hair cut. Look at my fresh cut. Every time I come to Florida, it's haircut. workout in class and then go have some fun of friends today her and her and let's go saturday got my favorite coffee killer brew and we're gonna go out to broadway today because it is andrew's birthday we're gonna have some fun and i go to iowa tomorrow which is super exciting i get to see my friends in iowa but let's have some fun this saturday just doing some final touches on my presentation with catch track Andrew tuesday it's called out sharking the sharks. So I'm gonna finish this up and really excited for doing this Tuesday. It'll be Jack's final talk that he gives in his life. So 
and the honor be there. There should be about 500 people in the audience. Flying to Iowa today, got a big week ahead. News, press, speaking to Iowa State University and sharing the stage with my mentor, Cactus Jack Berger, for the last time. Let's go. I made it to Des Moines. It's rainy. These are the streets of where I really started building my brand in Des Moines, Iowa. I live downtown. Pat lawyer was over here. I was filming over there. This was the beginning. Yeah, welcome to Ricochet Des Moines, Whoa! Iowa. I love this place. 2016, we filmed a TV show here. Chris was one of my videographers, <laughs> and he dropped the Iowa State Fairgrounds. I almost died. And Let's be fair. Chinese. What is this? Good Pizza. Yep. The it's beer. Long. The atmosphere. All of this? This is our new show. We don't need a videographer. We got the crew. <laughs> but check out Fong's. <laughs> Staying at this hotel here in downtown Des Moines. And fun fact, I'm going to show you this. This is where I lived, so I'll look over here. I lived in this building over here in 2014 when I invented Arctic Stick. And this building right here is where I'm staying in the hotel. This used to be a Scooters, and this is where I wrote my book, Keys to the Crowd and Unlocking the Power of Crowdfunding, in three days. It was a Scooters right here. I lived right here, or literally right where that light's on. And this is where I lived, my earlier entrepreneur endeavors. And here is my room. This is just so wicked for me because like what I know this used to be, this building. Like I lived right here. Now this is part that's crazy guys. Look at this, look at this. I literally lived right in that building. Like I think I live in that floor right there. That's how creepy this is. This is where the podcast show started, right? <laughs> that floor over there. This is, wow. What a great week. I had a great week meetings in Tampa and getting some work done, just always traveling, making sure to make the most of my time. But coming up this week, I am going to Iowa. I'm gonna be spending time in the old stopping grounds, Des Moines, Iowa. I'm gonna go on some morning shows, get some publicity. Speaking at Iowa State University with my mentor, Cactus Jack Berenger, his final talk of all time. Gonna have a workshop here in Nashville. So, full week ahead. Stay tuned, and I will see you in Iowa.